Hey, so there has always been a debate on whether or not the ammo crap is reef safe. So right smack in the center of the frame, we got my little ammo crab right there. It's actually a tiny guy, um, size of about a nickel. So when I got home today, I discovered that my golden Australian torch coral, that's this guy right, right here that looks really unhappy, uh, got knocked off the rock and landed face first into the ricodias. Um, specifically that mini colony in the center. You see that that blue polyp in the back is looking quite sad. Same with the pink polyp up front. I apologize, I couldn't zoom in a little bit more. Uh, the camera just refuses to focus. So as you can see, the ammo crab started feeding on the damaged polyp. Now the polyp is not dead per se, but it was de definitely harmed um, because the torch landed face first uh, into that polyp. And the torch seems to be coming out as a victor because it is kind of opening up already and I don't see any bit damage, damaged tissue, at least not yet. Um, but the Ricordia on the other hand is kind of all closed up and not that happy. And it may also be because the ammo crab is picking on it. So from here you can draw your own conclusion. Um, I mean the ammo crab did not bother any other Ricordia corals. Uh, just that one that seems to have taken the blunt of the stinging from the torch coral. Um, but my question is, is the ammo crab just eating the damaged tissue? In a way, it's kind of like uh, taking away the rotten, par rotten parts, but leaving the good tissue, or is he also eating the good tissue? Um, it's kind of hard to say. He is, uh, right now he's not even picking on the um, damaged polyp anymore, he's just kind of picking on the side. Um, I saw earlier he kind of ripped off a small chunk of the damaged tissue and we're just feeding on it. Let's see what he's doing now. He is kind of just climbing on that polyp now and not picking at it and resume picking on what I assume to be algaes on that frag plug instead. So the damage that the Ricodia polyp sustained was not bad. I mean, uh, like part of it got burnt or stung by the torch coral. But for the most part, I'm sure it will recover because um, Ricodias and mushroom in general are really res uh, resilient. And I'm just kind of, this would be a good test for ammo crabs, at least like this guy in my tank to see how he, uh, let's see what he does. Yeah, but when I came home, as soon as I removed, um, actually even before I removed the torch coral uh, from the upside down position on top of the Ricordia polyp, the ammo crab is kind of picking away at the Ricordia polyp. But I think he either finished all the dead tissue and it moved off, or I'm just kind of spooking him at this point. But uh, yeah, I just want to film this quick video showing that the ammo crab is kind of picking at the coral, but at the same time, it is damaged coral. So, for me, I am okay because it has been he has been in the in the tank with all these um, different corals and ricodia, and at least I don't think he has been picking on any of them until now, when one of the coral was um, visibly um, damaged. Now, let me see if we can get a little side view. Yeah, not really. But basically the edges of that Ricordia is kind of torn up. But for the most part, as long as the ammo crab does not keep picking on him, he should recover fine. So just a quick update and I will keep an eye on it. I'll leave the polyp just where it is because I'm kind of curious um, if the ammo crab will feast on him anymore. Um, but if this is an indicator, I think the ammo crab may be done, so he may just be picking on the dead tissues. But uh, what do you think? Do you do you keep ammo crabs in the tank, and do you think they are reef safe? I know as they get bigger, they become a little bit more opportunistic, meaning they may go after fish that are sleeping, or snails that are starving. But uh, when they're small, typically I have no issue with them. But I may just have been lucky, or I have maybe I just missed the uh, indicators. So let me know what you think, and I will leave the polyp right there, and I will 
update you guys in the future on how it's doing. All right, talk to you guys later.